Hello, today we will demonstrate how to use the VR table for phone memory dump using the eMMC ISP interface from Samsung Galaxy S3 Mini i8190. For this operation we'll use a Rift box, but we could use any other interface with an eMMC ISP connection. We will start by mounting the phone or device PCB into the holding tray and tightening the screws to prevent movement. This ensures that the PCB will not move while we connect the VR arms and probes. Now we start to mount probes into the VR arms. These are new probes which are available now from your VR table reseller. The new probes have movable tips which were specially created for eMMC ISP operation. These probes are sold as an option to the standard VR table but they are best to use for eMMC ISP connections or any other places on PCB where we don't use standard tap points. But we connect directly to SMT, SMD elements or CPU. For eMMC ISP, these points will be available on resistors in the case of CMD, CLK or data or capacitors for internal flash voltage, VCC or controller VCCQ. Since these elements are very small, precision is very important here. These probes were made especially for our company and guarantee the best connections. Compared to other similar probes available on the market, only ours have a 0.7mm movable tip. Now we direct each probe with VR arm into the desired position. Since VR arms are fully movable in almost 150 degrees, you can position them into any location. After you locate the eMMC ISP point on PCB, simply loosen the screw on the VR arm and gently position the probe above the point. Then you just tighten the screw to lock the VR arm and probe in place. You can also use the precise screw available on top of each VR arm to adjust the angle of the probe. This is the most important thing in the whole connection process. If you fail at any step here and connect the wrong test point, all the later connections will fail too. So which point do we connect first and which last? In our sample I8190, we start from VCC, but only because it's the first point from the left down on the PCB. If your exhibit point is somewhere else, you'll need to adjust the procedure signal connection. So first check and think where to install the VR arm to match your target on each side of the VR table. In this presentation, we'll show power section usage of the VR table. So voltages which offer to give NAND flash voltage, VCC, and also controller voltage from the table, VCCQ. Therefore, we can operate with different voltages for powering our NAND exhibit. What options does this give us? It enables us to use different voltages for different eMMC. We don't have to adjust these settings in software or buy additional adapters. We just connect the cable to the proper voltage connector with a banana connector. You can use the same voltage for VCC and VCCQ by just putting bananas into the same section. In this way, we will connect from the eMMC box as RIF only three transmission signals, clock, command, and data. So CLK, CMD, and data. Of course, not forgetting about GND, VSS. After connecting all the probes to the desired points on PCB, so CLK, CMD, data, and also VCC and VCCQ, we can connect the other end of the banana connector into the VR table adapter, JEO2, and configure it. As you can see, we have already put banana connectors into the probes to avoid movement of tips during connection, which is the procedure we suggest for all connections using VR table. Now we are almost ready with all signals. CLK, data, CMD, VCC, VCCQ, and of course GND. And we will now start connecting it to the RIF box using 17 cm FF cables with banana connectors.
For connection, we will use JEO2 adapter diagrams with signal output, which you will find in the JEO2 user manual. JEO2 offers multi-configuration of in-out signals to match the device you're using for reading. After connecting all cables into the adapter, we connect it to the device, Riffbox. After this, we can connect the VR table to the PC. It will then turn on EMMC power section and also connect our Riffbox with the PC. For connection, use a normal USB AB cable, which is supplied with the VR table. Once the VR table is connected, we connect VCC and VCCQ from EMMC power section. In the I8190, we use 3.3 volts for both the controller and NAND. Now we just run software from Riff and detect memory. For this, we are going to use the EMMC tab, where we can read full ROM1, NAND, or only user partition. Please remember to correctly configure the clock rate and other parameters needed. As you can see, EMMC was detected correctly, so we can now read full dump. The whole process of EMMC ISP connection takes less than 10 minutes per target, all without any soldering skills or modifying anything on the boards. After reading dump, you can retrieve all data as SMS, videos, pictures, and even deleted data with specially created software.